All right, here we are again today, uh, working on the uh, 66 Ford. Uh, just thought I'd kind of give you more update of what I think I'm going to do on this truck. I uh, been looking and watching a lot of YouTube videos and guys putting in patch panels and buying stuff from China and all that and I've kind of decided what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try to find all original parts. Uh, there's quite a few of them. There's a place here close to me that has a bunch and so what I can't cut out and weld in I'm going to try to go pick up from them. Uh, some of the things it's going to need is it needs a new roof. You can see all that cancer there. It goes all the way around the front. Leaks. And I've already purchased another roof so I'll be doing that but I'm going to wait and do that until it warms up. Uh, it needs a lot of uh, work as far as the under the hood here the inner fenders are pretty rough that's I don't know if you can tell but that's some holes in top of the fender on both sides uh, get down here uh, I don't know if you can see that or not uh, there's a little shot of it that's the radiator support it's rotted out on both sides and that's the motor it's original never been out of the truck uh, some of the things I've done to it is I converted it I put uh, power brakes on it a few oh, 10 years ago well, maybe 20 years ago but the brakes have been upgraded it's got a the running gear is out of a 78 Ford half ton so it has disc brakes on the front it's got uh, drum on the rear uh, but that's not where that story ends like I said in my other video my first video I bought this truck when I was 16 and drove it as a half ton it was a half ton and I drove it that way till I got married and like I said I got married pretty young and my wife and I both came from families that uh, we loved to camp and so my dad had an old 1960 I believe it was a 64 or 3 63 or 64 camp trailer that he had bought in brand new just before he bought this and we used that for a few years and then he had an old eight foot cab over camper and it, it fit pretty good on the half ton. It carried it pretty good, but my family started to grow and I needed something bigger. So there was a guy down the street that had a 68 Ford three quarter ton. And I bought the running gear out of it and I threw a three quarter ton front and rear end under this. So for a good part of its life, it was a, had three quarter ton gear running gear under it and uh, I carried some pretty big campers I had a eight foot I had a nine and a half foot cab over and then I had a ten and a half foot and they were old they were, they were the the last two were 1973s and they were made here in uh, Utah they were uh, road runners and they were heavy and uh, so we had that and uh, so use this truck for recreation a lot of doing a lot of recreating in it when it was a three-quarter ton it was our vacation vehicle we took it everywhere uh, but about oh 20 years ago it has to be 20 I uh, was doing some work for a guy and he had a 78 uh, half ton and it ran and everything but he had bought a newer truck and so I asked him what he wanted for it I think I paid $500 for it 
when I brought it home and pulled the running gear out of it and then sold the motor out of it and sold the fenders and everything I could sell the bed and then I got rid of the frame and then uh, I put it back to a half ton and it's been that way for the last 10 and well last 20 years at least so I'm gonna leave all that stuff under there because I like the disc brakes and uh, it's still got the three-quarter ton leaf springs out of the 68 under it uh, they're kind of an interesting setup Ford back in the day I don't know if you can see that setup that they're really long and they had this special bracket that when you started putting weight on it that bracket came down on that top spring and shortened it up and made it a lot stronger so you could carry a lot more weight but you still had a pretty good ride so it still has the heavy suspension under it, the three-quarter ton suspension in the rear and I'm not sure if I'm going to change that or not but anyway that's a look at the repair we did but that's one of the stories it's life it's been a half ton a three-quarter ton now it's back to a half ton and uh, the rest of its life's going to be pretty easy we're going to take good care of it and take it to car shows we have a few car shows go on around here all the time just like everywhere in the country and we'll take it and show it off a little bit but this is it my next project that we'll be working on is going to be this uh this rust here in the hood i don't know if you guys that are very familiar with this year of ford but if you find one that hasn't been restored well, i'd probably say nine out of ten of them have that rust right in that spot i don't know what it is that causes that but they all have it and so that's that's one of the things we're going to be working on uh, i hope you find these uh enjoyable you know my goal on this truck is to just you know just show you the labor of love to put it back together this this truck meant a lot to my dad it meant a lot means a lot to me means a lot to my family and so i just thought i'd take it and try to share some of those experiences with all of you and if this never goes anywhere it'll be a record that my grandkids and whoever ends up with it in my family can look back and and see what we did to it and the love we had for it and the, the care it got so before I get too wax too much more sentimental uh, we'll save some of them other stories for another day